All right. So, and then the Fool card again. So I think that's it, okay? The Ten of Cups at the top of the deck. Awesome. So it looks like, you know, we're headed in the right direction towards our Divine Masculine. For those who've met him, for, for those who haven't, this is still a journey nonetheless for you. And this is going to let you know when you're close and right around the corner. So now we have the Queen of Wands. Okay, it's another counterpart. So this is also telling me that it's inevitable for you to meet him. Some of you may not even be in this right here, in this kind of zone yet, or don't think you will be. I mean, it's inevitable for you to meet. But here's what I want to say. There is an aspect of what's going on, and it's probably for what I just said for those of you who have a little bit of something going on, a little bit of a dark side here. At the top of the deck, we have the Six of Wands now, and then now we have the Sun card. What do we have underneath that? Okay, so, and then the Two of Swords. So remember when I was trying to refer to the Six of Wands was you feeling empowered, you feeling like you're at the top of the world, kind of, you know, that's kind of what I was going to go into. It's you wanting to see others succeed. It's you loving the attention, loving the score, loving the mission that you're, that you're succeeding very well. But remember, it's supposed to get you somewhere. So I think, you know, there's a warning here and it's maybe that don't, because with the passion, you know, sometimes this person doesn't let everybody know what they're working for, what they're working towards, why they're working, but they just trust in you and you trust that they're going to get it done. You see how you're a little antsy. It's like, oh, I kind of really want to say something or they need to do it like this, but okay, wait, let's, uh, you know, because there's something you're holding back here. All right. But it could talk about pride. All right. It could talk about how you've been doing this on your own. You're the one who's on top. If you can't see that here, here, I mean, we don't got, you know, you're just, you got no cares. You're, you're slow moving. Here you go here. You know, this is you on top of the world. Then we got you here on top of the world. And then we got you here. So you're feeling in power. You're feeling in great. And this is a great aspect. Everyone understands your hard work. Everyone understands who you are and why you are and, and, and your beauty, your, your, your handsomeness, your, you know, everything about you and who you've been just now. Okay. Remember, comment your princess or prince down below or king or queen, you know, and, um, this this is a great aspect to be in, but you don't want to feel like um, you're backtracking. Let's go ahead and clarify this Queen of Wands, shall we? And then we're going to understand what that Six of Wands is talking about and what that Black Cat is talking about. We're going to clarify the Queen of Wands in the deck. Spirit, why is the Queen of Wands here? So we can give you the warning. We can understand what's going on. Do we want these? So we have again the Queen of... Excuse me, hold on. Queen of Wands. Let's look at the Queen of Wands. So that's why it's here. The Ten of Swords. Okay. Let's get one more for the Queen of Wands. Why is the Queen of Wands here? Excuse me, talk to us. Why is the Queen of Wands? Why did you give us the Queen of Wands? Why is it here? We got the King of Cups. Oh, the Justice, the Knight. Uh, what I'm all right. I know what I let's just see what they got and then the sun this the Queen of Wands Some of you are going to turn your back Okay And something very important Something very important You're gonna turn your back on something very important. Here's the first card, the Queen of Swords. They want to talk, and so does the Pentacles, and so does the Temperance. Okay, so some of us are going to end up... Um, and then here's the Hierophant and the Four of Pentacles. So, in Judgment, and then the High Priestess. Okay, some of you are going to lose your way. Okay, okay, I'm glad we saw it like that, so that didn't sound cliche. Some of you are going to lose your way in the aspect of money, Okay, that's that's what really wants to come here. That's that's what needs to be said. Some of you are like, oh, great. Well, if I have money, then I have, then you don't have nothing. You don't, you have money. You don't have him. You don't have the high priestess. You don't have the strength, the, the, the love. Okay, there's, so some of you are going to end up, um, let's see what we can give you as a clue. <clears throat> Feeling high and mighty on your horse. Maybe kind of you're gonna you're gonna know that you've been deceptive towards people, okay? And 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 sh and wronged, 
you feel wronged and you're going to wrong people, okay? I feel like there's a sense that you don't trust the people that have been around you because maybe you feel like you've, hmm, okay. It's just business, some of you are saying. It's just business for the magician. Nine of Cups. So, the, oh my. Okay, let me pull out the, high, the higher font. Okay, some of you are going to lose your way, but you're going to be brought right back. Because there's no way you can succeed in the twin flame journey if it's not the twin flame that you're going after. You're not going to be able to use one thing to get the other. You're not. So, what about the death card? about the death card. The sun card. King of Swords in Reverse. Think about that Page of Swords. The Page of Wands in Reverse. One second, everyone. There's a, there was a deficit. There was something about your communication. There was something about your communication. And I don't want to say it's because some of you went back. Yeah. Some of you went back and didn't something. You, oh, man. Okay. So let's just understand. Can we understand the sun card and the, and the ten of cups? Can we understand how we're going to. Something the high priestess did, and it's like very vague because it's very vague because um because there's a lot of you. You're just there's someone some of you have to let go of your ex. Some of you have to let go of someone. Could be an air or a fire sign, but you haven't healed from someone. You have not healed from someone. So it's your motives that are wrong, and that's why you keep failing. I think some of us are wondering why the hell we can't get past a certain gate when we've been so clear on what we're doing and who we are, why we can't get here. Because there's an X we have to release, and that's the karma. There's an X, okay? The death card and temperance. Tell me about the death card. The king of pentacles, the tower card. There's maybe an earth sign, but there's somebody who you used to have security with that maybe you've known for, for a long time, okay, and they're a karmic partner. You're still carrying the burdens of them and the way you do things. It needs to come to an end. <clears throat> so all that to say could be a Cancer, could be a Taurus Virgo Cap, could be a Gemini Libra Aquarius, but all that to say... With all that to say, you need to release your ex. Once you do that, um, you'll be able to you'll be able to move forward. It's a completion. It's you're going to be able to move forward. Yeah. Okay. Is that all spirit? Is there complete? That's the completion. Somebody needs to release their ex. Let us see what we got. So we got the two of pentacles. You got to release your ex. Okay. Some of you have to release your ex. If you were never in a relationship, put it how it applies. It's a general reading, but some of you have to release someone in order to move forward. Some of you have to release a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Wow, I wasn't even expecting that. But you have this around the corner, but you've still got some karma, a latch on you.
and it's like it's an it's it's um it's inevitable as to when i just feel like it's in your hands i think you you just some of you don't realize that you have to release an x you have to in order to get your two of cups anything else about releasing your ex maybe some clues for them the temperance came back out the star card so you got to release your ex dude then it's the then it's the completion all right Ooh. well i wouldn't expect in that much thank you for watching bye